Yes, yes, yes. Good morning to you. I believe that you are fine. I am as well. Praise God. We are sharing truth this morning on positive attitude always. Coming from 1 Peter chapter 2, 18 through 23. You are warmly welcome to the Really Really Knowing God channel with me, Pastor Lanry Adinekon. This channel is packaged to inform as well as inspire you into a real knowledge of God richer, knowledge of God deeper, knowledge of God everything being powered by the Pastor Lanry Adinekon Center for Exaspiration, the place. This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gemstone upon the crown of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you are tired of commonplace Christianity and now you want the finest quality of it, this is the place you want to be. Let us pray. Precious God and Father, we bless you this morning as we go on to share some time again here you know, with your people in fellowship, and teaching, sharing. Father, we ask, O oh God, that you help us in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that we'll maximize these few minutes together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, we said verse 18. And 18 reads, Servants, be submissive to your masters with all fear, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the harsh, for this is commendable, because... If because of conscience towards God one endure grief, suffering wrongfully, for what credit is it when you are beaten for your faults? You take it patiently. But when you do good and suffer, if you take it patiently, it is commendable before God. For to this you were called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. Who committed no sin, nor deceit was found in his mouth. Who, when he was reviled, did not revile in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but committed himself to him who judged righteously okay so we said something in this direction before but let's just go over it again it says servants be submissive to your masters it was talking about um uh, we were talking about um being subject to higher authorities and things like that at that time but at that time it looked as if it was talking about uh, the governing bodies the political uh, structure monarchical as the case may be but here now it's talking about any form of constituted authority be it um in your place of work be it in your um one man <laughs> employment it be, be it in um, a, a multinational be it um, in a church be it in the neighborhood be it in the family wherever you find constituted authority submit yourself to them with all fear with all fear here means reverence okay submit to constituted authority and it says not only to the good and gentle even to the harsh even when that your boss is harsh you still want to submit to to that your to that your boss even when um, uh, um, it doesn't look good it doesn't seem to mean well for you you still have to submit and then you know it, it we will we'll see later you know some of the other things you need to do um you know to make everything be perfect for you because you see somebody is saying to himself or herself ah somebody who is evil somebody who is bad somebody who is high somebody who's wicked you know am i going to continue to submit to such a person we're going to see in the course of time right now it says for this is commendable that's what the bible says now if because of conscience towards god you endure grief suffering wrongfully it is commendable there are times when you suffer wrongfully there are times when uh, people are unfair to you there are times when people um have just gone over overboard you know in in not being kind you know to you and all that and it's only because um of your christianity which defines how that you are going to conduct yourself for example you must be gentle as a christian you must be kind as a christian you must uh, speak um good words um you must be charitable with your words you must not speak you know hurtful words and things like that as a christian you know and then you must be loyal as a christian you must um, do things with a lot of honesty as a christian so at times because of all of these things that you do some people um just take it out on you because you do not uh, your, your your very presence does not allow them to <laughs> you know um do some very some funny things we can't talk about here you know and all that so they, they do things against you just because of your christianity of your stance of your gentleness at times they do things to you okay if you suffer because of all that 
Yeah, it says it's commendable. That's what the Bible says. But if you suffer because of the wrong thing that you have done, that's not that's nothing to you're going to have to bear it patiently because you are only bearing the consequences of the wrong that you have done. Okay, that's what it says there. So when you are beating for your faults, you take it patiently. But when you do good, and then you suffer on account of good. This is commendable. It says it twice, you know, within two verses. This is commendable before God. And there are people who um, have been asked to aid in cheating and you decline to aid in cheating. And so people um, try to execute some form of vendetta because you have refused to aid in cheating. And so you suffer that. You know that's because of your stance. There are some people who have chosen to, to be straight. And because of that, people who are not all that straight, you know, they gang up against you. All those things happen in workplaces, at times in some communities, some societies, some club that you belong to, you know, and all that. They all happen. But when you are suffering, because you are standing you know for the right or for what God wants you to do Bible says it is commendable went on to say that uh, this is what you have been called to because Christ also suffered like that for us leaving us an example that we should follow yeah so Christ also went through this thing that's why it says we have an high priest <clears throat> that can be touched with the way we feel because he's been through it as well he says that he also suffered that that we should follow example and then he quoted the scripture an old testament to back it up who committed no sin was not there deceit found in his mouth yet when he was reviled, he did not revile in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten anybody. But did what? Committed himself to him who judges righteousness. That's what I said at the beginning. I said not to worry. Towards the end, we are going to see what we need to do. So, <clears throat> when it looks as if all these things are unfair, when it looks as if um, um, it's as if one is foolish or one is... Um, foolish or weak and you cannot fight back you cannot uh, uh, stand your ground and stand for your right you know and all that's the way it looks to people that's the way it looks to the to our reasoning and i mean i should fight for my right i should stand my ground i should fight back i should uh, uh, claim my rights actually you know and all those things um, so when you don't do that, you look like a weakling. At times you look like a fool. You look like somebody who suffer fools gladly. You look like somebody who is ra who rather is willing to be cheated and to be maltreated and, and to be, you know, uh, you know, all kinds of things happen to us. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. You know, so it's going to look as if one is some uh, form of simpleton or fool or or, or weak person, you know, <clears throat> or uh, what's the other uh, word for it now, okay? But what the Bible teaches us to do is that it's not a matter of weakness. No, it's actually a matter of allowing somebody bigger than you fight back on your behalf. In other words, when you do your fighting by yourself, by your own power, that is how far it can go. But when somebody bigger than you, bigger than the system, bigger than that paper, person or that group or the people who are being wicked to you or uh, being unfair to you where you find somebody bigger than them attacking or 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 requiting them on your behalf you know fighting back on your behalf bringing you justice okay then it's actually uh, it pays you better because there's a bigger power, bigger force, higher authority that is taking this thing up on your behalf to make sure that all accounts balance very, very well. And that's why it says, but Jesus never <clears throat> reviled in return. You know, he didn't talk back when he suffered. He didn't threaten to, to you know, like threatening to retaliate, for example. He committed himself to the one who judges righteously. Yeah. So that the one who judges righteously is in a position to make sure that all accounts are balanced so those who are unfair to you um who have robbed you of what should be your right he will make sure that he supplies those your rights those who have taken what belongs to you he will ensure that he makes it make he will ensure that they lose it okay or they give it back or whatever is there is the one who judges righteousness so you are not being um a weakling no you are not being a weakling you are not being timid no you are not being a fool no you are only being wiser in that you are allowing somebody who is bigger to sort this whole matter and believe me this person who is bigger and he, he not only will he sort it he can enforce he can make sure that things happen in the particular way to bring about um righteous judgment and fairness to everybody but by the concern that's why i said all accounts will balance signed <laughs> you know at the end of the day so that's it um 
let's leave it here this morning uh, we may have to overlap a little bit when we come back around again into the episodes but please uh, just let's leave it there this morning go out there and have a fantastic day at work bless you